Hi everyone, Doug Schrader from Bridger Chevrolet here. Today I'm going to go through the two different ways that Chevrolet gives you to remote start your vehicle. First way we show you is with your key fob. Very simple operation. First step, you lock your vehicle. Next step, press and hold this half circle. You're going to blink, your vehicle will start up. You have two cycles you can run your vehicle at 10 minutes per cycle. Then you actually do have to go out and use your key, but that's more enough time to get most of these vehicles warmed up and ready during these winter months. Second way we'll show you is actually through your mobile device. First step, you have to have the My Chevrolet app installed on your vehicle. You click on that, open it up, make sure you have your correct vehicle. Here I'm going to select my Colorado. We go into remote commands, key fob. Here you have a lock, unlock, engine start, and horns and lights if you need to locate your vehicle. We're simply gonna press the engine start, and it's gonna give you a prompt to make sure it's legal. Go ahead, enter your pin. It will acknowledge that it's processing here. and you get the green check mark confirmation. You see the vehicle is started back there. Same rules, two 10 minute cycles uh, before you have to go out and actually use your key again. But with the phone app, you can actually be halfway around the world and start your vehicle. So no more worries about whether it's in a garage, a parking structure, uh, parked across the street, anywhere you're at. If you have a data connection on your phone, you can remote start your vehicle. Hope you find these handy. Uh, again, feel free to comment below with any topics you'd like us to cover in the future. And check us out for more updates later.